hi guys i hope you're doing great today now in this video i am going to be putting some plant support along this pathway that i have from the deck going out into the yard now as you can see the plants are leaning in a bit and so that is why I want to put some um, support for them just to keep them back a little bit so that they don't eventually overtake the path. Because actually sometimes when it rains, they can actually lean all the way down into the pathway. So I'm going to show you now exactly what I'm going to use to put that plant support. And so let's go. I have eight of these stakes, which my husband has cut from wider planks of wood. And then he bore, use um, the drill bit to bore some holes equal distance on the stakes. The first thing I'm going to do with the stakes is drive them into the ground. I'm just going to start with the first stake um, beside the deck. Then just wait to see what I do next. So to get started, I have to measure to see how much of the bottom section here I'm going to be driving into the ground. So what I'm going to do is measure my plant there to see how high the bee bombs are. And then I will just measure from my hole here down to see where I should stop when I'm driving the stake into the ground. So I want my first hole to be just about 28 inches. So I'm going to measure from the first hole and see where 28 inches is. And I'll put a mark. And I'll do them all the same. They're all the same height. So this is where... <laughs> That's quite a bit down in the ground. I may adjust it, I'm not sure. Because that's quite a bit down in the ground. Although it will just make it firmer in the ground, so that might be fine too. Okay, so let's start the side of the deck with number one. Whenever I'm driving anything like this into the ground, I like to use my crowbar to get the hole started. So I'm going to do that. Here, I'm going to push it down. It's quite a ways down. That's yeah, quite a ways down. This stake is pretty deep and it's pretty long. So what I'm going to do, instead of using this hole at the top, just going to start from the second hole and measure 28 inches. Right now we're at 30 inches. I'm just going to hit it down a couple more inches. That's it, we're good. Now I'll just adjust the measurement on, on these ones. So I'm putting them 11 feet apart.
next thing I'm going to do is use this cord to thread through the holes back and forth to get my support. So this is the cord that I'm using, braided polyester rope, actually. They refer to it as a rope, high strength, absorb shock, super abrasion resistance. That's what I want. So this is what I'm using. And to thread the cord through the hole, I'm going to use a little bobby pin, I think we call them bobby pins. Just going to put the rope through and bend it like this and basically thread it through the holes. So let's go. So I'm going to start from the bottom hole. Okay, so now I'm at the last stake. What I'm going to do is just thread up to the next hole above and go all the way back up. What I'm going to do is put a knot here so I can pull the bottom one all the way down to tighten it. And I think I'm going to tie it around the stake to help to make it stiffer. Okay, so oh, that's pretty good. Cool. Now, I'm going to put this through the third hole here. I want to make sure I hold this so it stays stiff. Now I'm going to tie them together. Okay, so this is the last hole. Thanks. Okay, there we go. So I am finished stringing my rope. Just grab, grab my scissors. And then I'll just tie it to finish. Not only does it help to support the plants, but it's a pretty decent streamlined look, especially that the cord is white. Check it out, guys. I think it looks good. All the way down to the end of the path. Let's take a walk down the path. I'm liking the look, guys. What do you think? 
I'm going to go ahead and get the other side done. Let me just go back a little so that you guys can see it. So it's from the deck here and it goes all the way down. There we go. There we go. Take a walk back to the deck. So now when it rains or when we get hev heavy winds, the flowers won't get battered down to the ground. They will have some support. What do you think about my plant support here, guys? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching the videos, liking and sharing. It means a lot because all that helps the channel to grow and I appreciate you immensely. If you have watched this video and you have not yet subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscription button and remember to hit the notification bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. You take care now, and I'll see you in the next video.